Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into one of the hottest debates making headlines that is the 90 hour work week. This is the topic of discussion in many circles right now. So why not let's try this particular huge case in Appian as well. So let's say that in Appian if you have to analyze the data how would you do that. Let's assume that you have been given a task to analyze how many hours each employee is working. You need to find that who is overworking, who is underutilized and all. To do this, I have created a task table here. As you can see here, in the task table, the very first column is the ID, then assigned to is there, which is basically the name of the employees, then the name of the task are there, and these are the different task status. And then there is a start time and end time. So mainly three status I have considered here. That is not started, in progress, and done. That is one, two, and three. So if you see here, one means not started. So start and end time both are null. Two means in progress. That is start time is there, but there is no end time. And three means done. Means start and end time both are present here. Now using this table, we have to know that how many hours each employee is working. And finally create a dashboard something like this one here. So here I have tried to create a dashboard. You can see here task summary like how many total hours we have worked. What is the average hours per employee that is 53 hours and who is our top employee. So you can see here John Smith is our top employee. He has worked 81 hours <laughs> really and here you can select different work weeks. So in week one you can see Jennifer Smith is the top employee. In week two somebody else will come here. So all these different particular values we have tried to work out here and finally a bar graph is also present there normally it is expected 45 hours this is our reference value and many employee like John and Richard are crossing those lines then Anthony and Jennifer are also there so like this one the values are present here now let's try to create this interface from scratch. The very first thing that you have to do here is go to your record. So here I have created a record type here. Now in order to move forward, if you will see the table, there is a difference between start and end time here. So first of all, we have to find that how many hours for a task an employee is taking. For example, Jennifer has started at the task on 3rd January at 9 a.m. And she completed the task on 12 p.m. So the difference is 3 hours. So for the very first thing that we will calculate is the difference between that. But for that we will not query the data. We will use our custom record field. So in this POC we are going to learn the custom record field as well. So go to the new custom record field. Create on write your own expression. And here there are two uh, categories. Sync time and real time. So real time if you use it. Then you can get custom field functions as well. Click on next button. And here you can find multiple functions. We need a difference function here. So we will put here date difference. And this is our start time and give your end time as well. Now here I have provided the end time as well. But instead of the interval day, we will take it here hour. So this will give us like what is the difference between start time and end time. Give the record field and name it here as duration. Click on test and it will give you all the particular data. So if you see here, here task number three, it is given three hours here, three somewhere, four. So like this, click on create button. And now our real time custom record field is present here. The next custom record field that we are going to create for the week number. So in which week that particular task was completed, we will try to create that. So go to again new custom record field, write your own expression. And this time we will choose sync time evaluation because for week number, we have to use Appian functions, not only the custom record field function here. Click on next button. And here we will write here week num. So this function and the date we have to write it. So for date we will use here to date and here we will try to use rv bang record dot end time. It means that in which week this particular task was completed. Click on next and write here week num and the record type is going to be here number integer. Give this value click on test. So whenever this end time is present that is uh, giving us the values here. Click on create button. Now we have saved the changes and both of our custom record fields are ready here. One custom record field is our real time custom record field and another one is the sync time custom record field here. Now let's move on to our interface and we will see that how can we create a dashboard out of this data. 
Now this is the interface where we have done the KPI part here and if you go in the expression mode first of all I have tried to aggregate over the employees here and then I have tried to find out the sum of the total duration how much they have worked along with some filters as well. Now let's try to understand this query record like how does it work here. So first of all we have taken a query record type the record type is employee task here and then we have taken the fields that is aggregation of fields here and when you use the aggregation you can use two functions here that is the groupings here and you have to group the data grouping means that only distinct value it will try to return the field over which we want to group here is yt employee task dot fields dot assigned to and it will give us basically the name of the different employees which are there and it will exclude all the duplicate entries and the alias that we are going to use here is let's say employee here once you have used the grouping here then you can get different employee name let's try to test it out and also give the pagination as well so the pagination is going to be one comma let's say 10 and dot data click on test rule when you will click on test rule you will get the different name of the employee here after that we want that each employee has worked how many hours how can we do that so for that particular purpose we will use measures here when you have to do some mathematical operation on that measure and here all the field over which we want to take the measure is yt employee task dot duration because this field will give us that what is the difference between start time and end time here and the function is going to be sum means sum of the total duration and the alias is going to be total here click on test rule now when you will test it you will get that a uh, employee name anthony is there and total he has worked 43 hours and the same concept we are using here in our interface as well here so here you can see the employee data here we have tried to aggregate the data then we have used measures and this is just the filter part now here we have used the filter for the vikram and task status as well basically we are trying to calculate for the completed task status one now let's say that somebody told you that we want the total how many hours have been worked what you will do you just have to create the sum of this particular data here so whatever the data that you are going to get here local bank sum dot total and click on test rule and you will get the sum same thing we have done here as well we have got the sum of the data then we have got the number of average hours means total hour divided by number of employees and then we have tried to find out you can see a top employee is there what is this top employee we want to find that what is the maximum number of hours in this particular list of values here 81 but how we will know so for that we have tried to find out the max like what is the max value so here you can get the max numbers if you select week 2 you will get different value here so max hour is 52 and where this particular value is present in the array here so that index we can get with the help of the where contains and then finally we can get the name of the employee and after this try to create a local or a map of value so that it will be easy for you to build the kpi here so value is this one here local bank hour so you can see here then icon is there and label is there and finally you can take out a loop you can see here this here we have taken a loop for each kpi value here we are using every bank item dot icon label value that's it so here we can build out our kpi so that's how the kpi works and now let's see how the bar chart will work here so for that we will take a bar chart here and in the bar chart if you go to the design mode select the source as record type here so yt and in the record type you will get you will see that automatically it has given us all the employee names here so primary grouping is already assigned to here and now in the measure part we have to do the same thing that we have done here that is find out the total duration so in order to find out the total duration go to measure click sum off and in the sum of remove the id and find out the duration here so you will get the sum of total durations and if you want to sort the data obviously you can use the sort here add sort and we will use the alias as duration and descending order so you can see here john smith is coming first then richard then anthony 
Jennifer is coming here. So that's how you can build your graph as well and you can get to like which employee has worked how many hours here. So that's how this particular whole dashboard part we have tried to make it. So this is just one of the example that how Appian can help us to work with real time scenarios as well with ease. So that was all for now guys. Let me know what do you think about this work hour week 70, 90 and whatever it is nobody talking about the productivity. That was all for now. We will meet again with some other real time use case. Until then, thank you.